Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, back in the uh, creative mode of TerraTech at its finest. And today in the Surter Showcase, we got some texts that have been created by Falchon for the very first episode in their showcase series. Who knows, maybe there'll be more. We'll see how we do. But for the start on, we have this little feller here called the Prelude MP. I wonder if it's meant for multiplayer. That'd be handy, eh? This is a nice little craft. It scoots along really good. It had. It took me a little bit, but I did finally find them. Uh oh, I lost it again. Where was it? Oh, right there. The hover control. So I jacked it up a little bit so I'm up above the trees easier. And you can still up and down a little bit, you know? It's kind of neat. And then you got your other controllers here for your bubbles and whatnots. But look at the firepower, eh? It's got quite a few missiles on it. A lot of avalanche. I really like the avalanche. Cruise missiles are always nice too. Great balance. Very stylish blue stripe down the back. Very nice. Very nice. So as we do get into this one, I would like to welcome you and thank you all for joining us. And let's see if we can make a good one happen as we go and try and find us some enemies. There is someone who shot at me with missiles, so I'm just imagining what's coming at us. Oh, look at that. Skims right over the trees nicely. Oh, I love it when they do that. You don't get hung up on everything. Oh, that little dude's tough. I didn't think he was going to last that long. We got a magnet, but we don't have the skew. So we got to get back to a skew. Let's see if we can still... No. Oh! Stupid trees. Okay, so maybe, let's do this, see when we pick up our stuff again. Come on, gather it up. It's a pretty heavy load, you know, it's all Geocore stuff. See when we get the last little bit, we had that on there before. No? Okay. We'll say it's not happening. Let's see, look at that. Oh, we ditched it. Screw it. <laughs> Great little fighter. Very controllable, though. Look at that. It scoots in all over the place. Whoa, 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 buddy. What do you think you're doing, the monster 3-2? You just got the 2-3. How do you feel about that? Oh, right about your face holes. Okay, we're just going to take our time. Whoa, 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 bud. There's a skew over. It's following us. Cool, cool. See, it's too easy to fly away from him. Oh, that one had the skew. Hello. Take my junk. Let's do it like this, then. What? that. Oh. That did not work at all. Let go! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're just oh, we're scooting out of there barely. We did lose something, but we're not gonna worry about what it was. So yeah, that's a pretty fun or fun little flyer right there. And it comes in all white or in all black with red accents, if you like, or white with black accents or white, red black with red accents. Very stylish, if you would like to see it. Let's just check it out here for a second. Ooh, so wait, we got our stuff in order here. Well, all right. Very stylish in both colors. I'm not sure why that didn't change. Okay. But yes, as you can see, comes great in both colors. Looks great in both colors, I mean. So we're going to get on to our next one here, and it is going to be the Warthog Type C. Now this one looks like it's got some, ooh, a little surprise here for us. Come on, get her back upright. There we go, she's listing a little bit. We get the skew working for us. Pull that off. Oh, it went too far the other way. Okay, this one I guess we're going to have to wait for the bubbles to come back on. Oh, I forgot this one too, didn't I? Take that off. 
it was easier to find than one that might have been there. And this one's all good to go. So we're going to jump in this one. And, ah, crud. What one was this one? Uh, this is the Hammerhead. I like that, too. It's got a nice-looking hammerhead on the front. Let's see what we can get into with this. We've got a couple enemies around here. Ooh, even a Hawkeye. Oh, no, that's better future. Oh, it's in trouble, though. It's coming right for us. Look at that. It walks right into this crew. Squidlet, you're going to be pudding. Pudding! Look at that. They just tore him asunder. No chance. Who are these ones? That looks almost like a robot there. I think we're going to have to shoot it a bunch, take it out. Oh, <laughs> that looked like some good shit, good shots. Oh, ZG training bot. Oh, here's a mighty fine training adversary. Oh, where's this other one? Right under me? Yeah, he's trying. Oh, get around there. Throw a hurting down on him. There, we'll just hang out here, see how he does. Look at that, they just swarm out and around. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, she flies all right, eh? 90. Oh, 101 on the flat out. And if we want, we can go up a little higher. <coughs> Might go up higher faster if we slow down. No, that's about max. Oop. So what we got here is we got a nice use of the venture weaponry with the dual mini guns. Oh, I love the rapid cannons. They're pretty dang sweet, too. And then we got the auto cannons. Monster mortars. We got missiles. We got cluster missiles. We got mortars. Oh, all the good stuff. And we have wireless charging. That was a nice thing, too. They would all charge each other, so that was very handy. Oh, what's this guy think he's doing? Let's see if we can take him out. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, wow, that was way quicker than I thought we could. I couldn't even say I think we're going to be able to do it. And we had already done it. Kind of cool, but you know what I'm saying. We are gone. So let's get back over to here and we'll see what our next one is. Oh, we got an enemy coming in too. Right on. Yeah, these hover ones, they're nice. They soar around, they scoot through the air. Take everything out that they can. I likes them. I do. Oh, this one. Did I forget to send him back? Put him back away. Okay, then. Why didn't that one bubble up yet? Okay. Alright, so that's going to still be a minute to bubble up. I guess this one's probably turned off too. It's got a nether controller somewhere. Sometimes finding them is the trick. Does everyone put stuff in their own little place? <coughs> underneath. really surprised if there isn't one on here because for this not to have any bubbles whatsoever I would be highly surprised but what I think I'm gonna do is we'll cheat a little bit if we can I'll just put that there go like this okay and we'll go like that there, now we got bubbles coming on. And we'll just take that off. There. That should allow them to all come up. And we'll be off and running. So we'll just come back in, a, in just a second here when we got everything ready. And we'll be on to 
Hopefully some more destruction. So just a second. All right, we're back. We got her all bubbled up now, and we are ready to head out in the Peacemaker. Now, I am sure this thing will set out and make some peace. Look at all this. We got the cluster missiles. I like the engine design here, too. We got the lasers. Lasers. <laughs> yeah, the lasers. We got the avalanche launchers. Oh, even a couple more. Another laser in there. Probably some in there, yes. Oh, liking the use of the mortars there. Forward facing and all that. Look at all the rapid cannons. Can't go wrong. Avalanche and cluster missiles underneath. Oh, we are going to bring hell down on some stuff. We even got the skew on the back. Very nice. Very nice. Dual miniguns. Bunch of seeker missiles. Very cool. And you know what? I, do I even see any cruise missiles? That's a nice little feature there, actually. You know, it's a nice change. Someone not loading stuff up with cruise missiles. Yeah, I am liking the design here. So let's get into this one and we're going to see what it can do. We got some enemies around. We got our lift up to 100, so we're going to stay up above trees. Let's see if we can bring down some rain. It's raining. Oh, it's just toasting them. They didn't have a flippin' chance, eh? I almost feel bad for them. Not quite, no, I don't know. Never mind, I can't even say that with a straight face. I don't feel bad for him at all. Look at the lasers. Zap, zap, chumps. Oh, they're just homing in, those lasers. They find their target and it cooks from the inside out. This is like being stuck in a microwave. So let's see how fast we can go on this. Oh, we got another enemy. Okay, with no thrust. Say 79. With thrust. Ooh, that's a nice jump. Get up to 96. Do the old turn and boost. Oh, look at that. She swings around good. Oh, man. Let's see if that enemy's still back there. Scoot right over top of our buddy. Ta-da! Oh, I think the guy left. He was all scared and stuff. Get this thing to... Oh, it will get off-centered. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be tapping trees. It'll tilt a little bit. There we be. Get some air under this puppy. Oh, she doesn't like to lift up too much. But she'll stay there. Nose up, though. A little added lift on that, see if we can get her a little more airborne. Oh, we're going for it. No, not quite. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Yeah, this thing handles nice. Flies like it, you know, it feels like it's flying the way you would expect. It's very cool. Oh, now the enemy comes back. Oh, he's just a little guy. We're going to take him out, and well, then we'll get into that next one. I might even have to tear into this one a bit. It's got me kind of wondering. Just the arrangement they got going on in here. Oh, look at that. There's the controllers. Ah, I never would have found them that easy. Not until you tear into it. And these are the reasons we tear things apart. Just to see how people have built them. Just ripping stuff apart like crazy. Look at that for the balance even. We got the two bubbles right there. But yeah, I'm guessing there's a lot of symmetry going on in this. We got some fans. Bunch of steering thrusters down there. 
Nice. It's not enough you see the little GSO steering thruster used. It has selling capabilities? Really? You don't say. Where does that take that in? There's some sneakiness going on here somewhere. Looks like right there. Let's go like this. Oh, he's using the magic. That's what it is. What's the magic? The magic is that resources can travel through blocks. Squeak on in and get in there. And then they can go through and charge without needing very much room at all. But the only downside is sometimes things get stuck. Sometimes. Usually for me, they get stuck. <laughs> Look at that, got a whole base is crammed right in there. That's pretty slick. Yep, definitely took some time to get that all fitted in. Dual charging setup. Oh, got more controls down here too. Was definitely prepared for any control issues that may arise. Yeah, that's quite the base in there. Even has a silo and everything. Is there another level to it? Or is that just where it comes up? Okay, I think that's just where it comes up through the floor. Yeah. So it goes up through there into the silo. And it comes over to there. It's a refinery. Through here. We even got the spot for the refined stuff. Very nice. Liking it. Liking it. Oops. Whole bunch of chargers. It's always good to have. And sales on the end. That's a good one. Make some money as you fly over. The only thing would be is you would have to maybe fly a little lower than what I was. You'd maybe want to drop that down to zero. And also for your cleanup efforts, you know. And like, look at this. We just tore a big chunk out of this thing and it's still working good. That's a testament to good building right there. Let's see if we can get some resources and we watch it and work. Oh, we can clean up all this too. Here, let's make a little bit of a mess so we can clean it up. Oh, didn't get that. Come on, I want resources. There we go, now we're picking them up. It's got to get just close enough. Oh, there we go, making money. There, now we can see it working. And it's all mobile, so you know that's pretty dang sweet. <coughs> Don't have to be anchored, so that's a big bonus. I wish we had mobile crafting. That would be handy. Make it like super rare, hard to get, max license kind of stuff or something. That would be cool. What do we got up here, though? Oh, I think we lost a big part there. That was an important one. Oh. Yeah, that was a hover. A big hover. Using the big fortress pads for this beast. My guess is there could be four of them. One in each. Yeah, look, one right there. Doink. Probably one back here somewhere.
Maybe not. <laughs> No, that's pretty cool. I like that. Really sweet build, Felton. But what we are going to do, though, is we're going to go check out the one over there, the Warthog Hog Type C. Because it has a nice little gift for us, I believe. At least it looks like it does. Now, we're not going to just let that one go wandering off and crash. We'll give it a respectable uh, <coughs> uh, rest. Well, let's see what we can get up to with this one. Oh, and it's got the skew. Nice. Look at all the engines on the back. This looks like it's fast. Look at her go. And plus rockets. Oh, yeah, she gets up to 88 nicely. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, buddy. You're having a rough day now. We'll finish you off and then we'll clean up the mess we made. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a little too much. So where's our sweet spot? Maybe 40? Oh, well, even 40 is a little too low, isn't it? 50? I'm thinking 60 is probably going to be good. Well, maybe not. It might even have to be a little higher. Right on. That works out quite nicely, doesn't it? <laughs> Handles like a boat, too, the way it, it goes back and forth. I like that. But you know the other cool thing that I'm pretty sure is going to happen here is if we hit X, bam, we got buddies. Oh, yeah. Come on, fellas. Let's go see what we can get into. I'm going to get up above all this nonsense, so if I can get off this tree, that is. There we are. We'll get out of the, the way of these guys. Let them do their thing down there. Now we just need an enemy to come in. <coughs> oh, oh, behind us. Come on, fellas. Over this way. I'll reverse it even. I won't shoot at them. As long as I don't run into the ground, that is. Get him, fellas. Oh, look at him go. Did take him apart. <coughs> just like a swarm of killer bees. That poor sucker didn't have a chance. Oh, what are you running into me for? <laughs> nice, they're all over him. I'm not having none of his crap. Here, I'll help you out, fellas. There you go. <coughs> Look at that, they all pick up their own resources and everything. Gotta love it. But yeah, that's the one big trick, though, is you always want to have your... Uh, Collectors and stuff facing backwards like that. They hold on to your resources a lot better. Well, they might have fixed it by now, but I know that used to be the case. That's why I still do it to this day. You'll see a lot of my builds with them tilted like that, too. It's a great idea. And look at those things. They work nice. They're just scooting all over the place. We need some more enemies. Come on, I want to go rip some more of these baddies apart. Enemies! Where are you? Where are, the, are thou enemies? I would like to shoot at you, me and my little buddies. I'm almost tempted to set up some enemies. So here, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go do something. And we will be back in just a second. So one second. Two. Ten seconds. Alright, I think we just got everything about set up here. We just got to find this one. Make that an enemy, and this one an enemy as well. So now they are not friendly to us, I believe. And we are going to go see if we can go take a round out of them. So I think that would be a nice little battle. Should be fairly entertaining, I believe. We'll get our little buddies put to work here. Make sure he's ready to come and follow us. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, let's get in on these guys and see if we can do some damage. They're up higher than us, so that could actually play a big difference on us. Oh, just rocked them. Oh, wow. Just annihilated that poor guy. I was pretty sure I had shields and everything all hooked up on him. But, oh, I don't know. This guy's going to be tougher. Oh, turn it, turn it, turn it. 
Get in there, little fellas. Come on, we can do it. Oh, swing around, swing around. Go like that. Yeah, we'll lock on to him. That'll help us a little bit anyway. Oh, we're getting hit. Come on, get these mortars in it. Oh, right in his face. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, he's just running for it, is he? Where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. We can do reverse. Oh, big hits. Big hits. Oh, what did I stop for? Turn around, buddy. Where's he going? Oh, he's trying to get an angle on me. Oh, just ram me. I think he's got more battery than me and my little buddies. I don't know, they haven't counted up to us really good yet. Oh, I think we're going down, maybe. Unless his batteries really start failing soon. We're in trouble. Oh, get that, get that. Come on, we gotta get more of our missiles firing at him. That's our main thing here, I think. Oh, we got turned around. Go over there. Come on over. over. Come on, little guys. Let's get in on this. Let's see if he likes to circle us. If he circles us, that could be the end of him. Oh. There goes the shields. We might just win this. Oh, now he's going. Come on. Swing around. Swing around. Get him, little guys. Get after him. You know you want to. Oh, I think he's hurt and he stopped. Something happened to him. Oh, come on, buddies. Oh, we're down. We got no shields now. Now it's really the battle to the end. I don't know why it keeps turning that way. Oh, there's that guy. Come on, get in on this, pal. Oh, he smoked us. But he's going down. Who's going? Oh, come on, get around. Drive him into the ground if we have to. Boom, chump. Take that body slam, you big bully. Oh, get out of there. Can we get out? Oh, I don't know. This is getting pretty nuts. Come on, little fellers. Help me. Help me. I'm on your side. Oh, we got him. Nice. That was a hell of a battle. We got dinged up a little bit, but we're still seaworthy. And our little buddies? How many do we got? We got all four of them still. Jeez, those guys are good. I think we did fairly well on that one. And then wouldn't you know it, just out of out of nowhere, they had a spy in our ranks. Oh no, get him! Okay, I gotta do the back. Yeah, the reverse turning. That's what's getting me. Get him, fellas! He's a spy for the enemies! Prelude. He's all about the multiplayer. He's a tough one too, eh? <laughs> oh, we got the wrong sides on. Yeah, this other side's got three missile launchers on it. That's what we need to do. Get on this side of it all. Oh, oh, oh. Did we get him? Oh, he's taking damage now. Oh, he toasted. See, no matter how many enemies this thing faces, it seems to keep on chugging. Especially with his little crew of helpers down there. And they're just kicking around, grabbing all the resources they can. So let's just, hold on, let's see if we can get him. Let's check one of these out. Are they collectors, or do they have chargeability and stuff to them, or... No, they're just really good on the batteries. They don't get hit too much, I guess. They're fast enough, so that is pretty sweet. Let's see if we can take them out this way. We'll go visit this guy. Look at that. They each come with their own cruise missiles. Seeker missiles. Oh, it's reverse steering again. I gotta remember that. There's a another one. Huh. Oh. Look at this feller over here. He thinks we forgot about him like we 
Well, we would never leave you out. But yeah, while we're getting around in here, just taking out the last remaining baddies, I would like to say thanks again, Falchon, for the awesome audition. These are just sweet builds. I had a heck of a blast just kicking around, taking out baddies. And then our even our little surprise last battle. That was extra fun, I thought. But as it all or for anyone else that would be interested in the Saturday Showcase, all you have to do is find the link down in the description for the Showcase Auditions. And from there, bring your in-game snapshots or save games, or both, and post them to the thread that it takes you to. And from there, I will make the best dang video out of my can. And if it is your first time posting for a Showcase episode, make sure you add your th uh, three favorite colors in helping with the creation of your showcase signature. Ooh, come on, get him, get him. There, attacker. Big bad, bad arse attacker. I almost said a different word. But look at the piles we made around here, eh? That's a good dang day if I ever saw one. Oh, we've got someone here. He's trying to move in on our ship. The mothership! Save it! Get it! Take that! And that! A little bit of that! Aha! You fiend! But yeah, I'd have to say that is pretty dang sweet. So, I guess all that's left to say is thanks once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you did, I hope you find your way to putting the likes, the comments, sharing with the friends, and hey, why not subscribe, ding the bell, because all the awesome you guys bring to a channel, it really does help, and it is always appreciated. But up until that next time, just keep being that awesome, keep having a good one. Bye.